Sunny here from Oil and Vinegar Junction. So I've been trying to decide what I wanted to do this week and I was talking with my good friend Keith and I get to call him my good friend because he's not here so he can't say otherwise. Um, at Park City Television the other day he was talking about how him and his wife were loving cucumbers this summer um, but they were also wanting to eat healthy um, and just needed a, a fresh new idea and I had told him I had the salad that would be absolutely amazing for him and it's been a long time favorite of one of mine and I think the reason I love it so much is it actually doesn't use any fresh herbs the dried oregano tastes really good in it and I prefer it with that dried herb and so it's something that I eat all year so it's a Greek inspired vegetable salad pretty much um, so I'll go ahead and I'll just show you a really easy way to make a vinaigrette. I have four tablespoons of sherry vinegar in this jar. And if you're like me and you just like to dump and do things fast, using a jar method to make your vinaigrette is the perfect, perfect way to go. So to my quarter cup of sherry vinegar, since I'm doing a Greek inspired salad, I absolutely need a Greek olive so I have my Greek Korniki here. It has great olive flavor with it. It's a little bit more earthy than some of the others. It kind of has like a really steady pepper flavor to it. And I would call it grassy or earthy um, is the flavor of that Korniki olive with it. As you can see, I like it. I just down the last in my bottle. And then really all you have to do once you have everything in there, put it in a jar, put the lid on and give it a good shake. Once you see all those ingredients mixed together, you're good to go. And that takes only seconds. Who can't do that? Now to that, to finish off our salad, I have some beautiful orange bell peppers and yellow bell peppers. Just one full one of each, just kind of roughly chopped. I have eight ounces or about a cup and a half of grape tomatoes that I've just halved. And we'll put those in with it. One small onion. My red onion was like really small this time. If you have a bigger red onion, just do half of that so it doesn't overtake the flavors of the other things. And then my favorite, favorite thing in here are these Heavenly Kalamata olives. I love them. I could just sit and eat them out of the jar by themselves. And to that, we have just a couple more things we're going to add. We need to add a cucumber. Since that's what keeps loving and that's what we're looking for, I definitely can't leave that out of the mix. Now our cucumber, we want to seed it so that it doesn't get too much liquid and other things in there. So all I've done is just cut my cucumber in half and I'm just going to take my knife right through the middle where the seeds are, kind of cut it at an angle and just follow that natural line of the seeds. And then all of that will come right out. We're going to add this into the bowl with everything else. Now all we got to do is just put our vinaigrette right over the top of it and let the magic happen. I'm going to go ahead and shake out that little bit that's in there. And then we're going to toss this and get that so that it coats all those wonderful vegetables that are in there. And lots of times when I'm making this salad, I just stop right here. Um, but if you want, or you're trying to jazz it up, like if I'm doing it for something special, or maybe I want it a little bit heartier or to fill out my meal a little bit more, I will do some feta cheese. And I add that at the end just so they don't break up and I'm a little more gentle when I stir it. And I do about a cup of that. I don't like a ton of it. If I choose to do the cheese in there, it's more just kind of as like a little extra surprise here and there as opposed to a dominant ingredient like the peppers and the tomatoes and the cucumbers. Uh, one little trick that you need with it is it does need to sit for a little bit. It needs about a half an hour. The vinegar will go to work on all those vegetables in there and it will soften them up a little bit and just pull out some of the juices and it really helps all the flavors begin to marry in the salad. So I'm going to give it about a half an hour and then we'll come back and we'll give it a try. So the salad has been sitting, it's had that half an hour that it needs and it's looking and smelling absolutely heavenly. 
I'm just going to give it one quick toss just to get all that vinegar and oil that's kind of gone down to the bottom up top right before I go to eat it. I'm going to try and behave myself a little bit and not just absolutely tear into this and not like scare you while I try it with my poor manners. I'm going to get a little bit of everything. And let's see where I want to start. Just get a great tomato and pepper together. It's honestly perfect every time. You cannot mess the salad up. Everything comes together when the vinegar sits and the oil sits. All the flavors marry perfectly in this dish. And when you bite one and you taste that tomato, you get that little bit of flavor of pepper and everything else that's going on. You're going to love this. I promise it will end up being a staple in your house just like it's a staple in mine. So go ahead, give it a try. If you change things up, comment below. Let me know what you do to make it your own. And as always, from my store to your table, enjoy.